Hi, I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor-in-chief at Cybercrime Magazine. I'm here today with Emanuela Mayaki, a 12-year-old coding and programming prodigy from Nigeria. Welcome, Emma. It's great to have you with us today. Thank you. Emma, we learned about you from a story in Face to Face Africa last summer. The story reported that you were hired by Southfield Primary School in Coventry, England, as an after-school coding club teacher, and that you were proficient in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, WordPress, PHP, MySQL, graphic design, Java, and Python, uh, head-spinning for somebody your age. How did you originally get involved with coding, and how old were you? I first got involved in coding when I was eight years old. Um, at eight, I already got some basic computer skills, so I thought maybe I should try something new. Um, let me see what I could do with technology and with my laptop. So that's how it all started. Now, at eight years old, how did you start to learn? Were you doing it online or was it in school or both? Oh, no, no, I um, wasn't online. I went to a, um, a computer school in my state, a state in Nigeria. So I learned um, how to uh, program there. First, I started with web design, which, con- which consisted of HTML and CSS. And then I moved to Lagos, and then I learned um, more about coding and programming. So is that a specialized school? It doesn't sound like that's something that all of the kids uh, go to there. Um, Actually, it's not a school for children. It's a school for adults. Um, But I was able to cope. Yeah, I was able to cope with the adults. They called me a professor in the school. So, yeah. Wow. Interesting. So how did the school in the UK find out about you and wind up hiring you as an after-school teacher? Till today, that still baffles me because, like, <laughs> um, my teacher, my um, like the tech coordinator in school, he just called me one day. That was during um, when we had to go home. So he just called me out one day, and then um, he told me about what he knew about me and if I could help the school to teach my classmates about coding. So yeah. So you, so you were going to school in the UK, at the time. Yeah, I was. Okay. I was. And so how did how did you wind up going to school in the UK? Oh, so um, my dad applied for a master's program in mass communication in the UK. So we went there with them, my mum and I. And I, I obviously had to go to school. So. so Emma, I wanted to know what your parents think about you. I mean, you are really, truly a prodigy. What do they think? Um, my parents are really proud of me. Um, I'm good in a lot of subjects, including mathematics. I'm actually really good in mathematics. So um, they're proud that um, I'm good in other subjects, except for ICT. So because they didn't have the privilege to use technology when they were growing up. So they're proud that um, their own daughter, their only daughter, their only child, um, has the access to technology in like, in Africa, which is like, let's say a third world continent, because not a lot of girls, especially girls, have the access to technology to use them, this type of stuff. So they're proud of me. Well, speaking of that, uh, what, what is it like now being a kid in Nigeria? Uh, if they are eager to learn about computer skills, coding, or even something specialized like cybersecurity, is, is that opportunity there for Nigerian kids? It kind of is. We're like, not really. But uh, when I started my coding school, um, I didn't really get a lot of response because um, African parents, especially Nigerian parents, have a way of trying to um, sculpt children's minds to um, making them think that um, things like medicine, law and engineering are like professions that they should go into. It's the children's choice if they want to learn about ICT and cybersecurity, which is a really good um, like profession and career. So, and their parents might not really allow them because they think that it might be wasting their time um, and they might not focus in school. 
So with all of your uh, background in coding and programming and technology, have you paid attention to cybersecurity, c- cybersecurity at all? Is that something that interests you? Um, it was, it wasn't too long ago I heard about cybersecurity, what it's about. Um, so it really interests me about the cyberspace and everything. So yeah, it's a really interesting subject. Yeah, there's a lot of cyber attacks around the world. A lot of people trying to do uh, harm to uh, each other, to nations, uh, and sometimes to, to kids. So we definitely need cyber fighters. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity for young people uh, who learn technology. We really do. We really do need cyber fighters, honestly. So I heard that you had um, an Academy app on Google Play. Is that right? Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the app. Well, currently it's not functioning, but um, the app basically consisted of things on my website. So the app had like um, a brief introduction about my code club, um, like things that you might want to, courses that you might want to sign up for, for your children, um, weekend courses, um, holiday courses, because in Nigeria, our holidays are like a month or three months. So, yeah. So I'm curious, what are your future plans? Uh, are you thinking about a career in technology and what do you think you might do when you're older? And lots of things. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to go um, really, really deep into technology. My um, actually as explore the cyber um, cyber security. Um, I want to go into machine learning, artificial intelligence, deep learning. I know it's a lot for a child like me, a twelve years old girl, but I can do it. I know I can. Well, you're our future, you know, we're, we're all looking at our future. We really appreciate you coming on today. And I want you to know that uh, not only do we love Nigeria, but our creative director who's in the studio with us right now is from Nigeria. So I want him to say hello. <laughs> uh, hi, Emma. <laughs> hello. Yeah. Hi. Mo is from uh, Lagos. I have a lot to learn because, you know, I called it Lagos and he's always correcting me, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> so anyway, it was really great to have you with us today, Emma. Your pronunciation Please. is still a bit off. I know. I know. But I'm trying. <laughs> I hope you're going to come back on and keep us posted on your career yeah. and what you're doing. Thank you. I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor-in-chief at Cybercrime Magazine. Joining us today was Emanuela Mayaki, a 12-year-old coding and programming prodigy from Nigeria. You can keep up with all of our media at cybercrimemagazine.com.